Hello my lovely YouTubers! So in this video we're going to be doing a little bit of pollen shooting. This is Catacetum sanguinium by Susan Fuchs and Catacetum sanguinium is actually a species of orchid known for its ability to shoot pollen. The reason that Catacetum sanguinium shoots the pollen is so that the pollen will adhere to the body of a bee and that bee will hopefully find a female catacetum flower and thus complete the process of pollination. So these here are male catacetum blooms. The males are showier, they're just all around prettier than the females are. Like with a lot of species in nature, like peacocks, uh, the males are always going to be prettier than the females are. Now really everything about the design of this flower is catered to that bee that pollinates it. The flowers are fragrant, which I know that you guys can't smell, but the flowers are fragrant during the daytime in order to attract the bee. They have all of these showy colors here on the labellum and sepals, and basically it's a landing zone for the bees. Now inside of here, it looks a lot deeper than it really is, and that's in the hopes that the bee will crawl into the hole and trigger these little hairs here. They look like fangs almost and that's actually how the catacetum gets its name is from these little trigger hairs here. So the bee will hopefully go down into this hole, trigger the hairs, and the pollen will shoot from this area here onto the bee. And the bee will fly about his merry way unharmed and hopefully find a female catacetum bloom. Now the female catacetums, they all pretty much look the same. They're very, very plain looking, usually green in color, and they have a hooded, um, hooded sepal area here. So simulating the bee today will be my bamboo skewer, and we're just gonna stick the bamboo skewer into this little area here, trigger the hairs, and see what happens. And here is where the pollen has landed. You can see it has landed sticky side down. And I'll try and remove it. It is very sticky. So you can see, sticking already to the bamboo skewer there. And the bee would carry this off and hopefully it would find a female catacetum flower. So now that the pollen has been triggered, this flower will die off because essentially it has done its job which is unfortunate, but there will be more blooms next year. And you can see the difference between the two. If you see this one here no longer has the cap anymore, and this one here, you can see it does still have the cap right there. Alrighty guys, so if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one in the future.